Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome back, Aquas. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well. I hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Aquarius, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages source your guardian angels, your ancestors have for you in regards to love, Aquarius. Yes, love, love, love is in the air, Aquarians. Shout out to the soul tribe, gang, gang. Shout out to the evolving spirits. I appreciate you. I thank you all so much for your continuous love and support on this platform. If you would love to become an evolving spirit like I myself, please click that join link down below. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions when I go live, my loves. And welcome back to the ones that are new here. Thank you guys as well for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on your way out, my loves. So, Aquarius... I hope all has been well, my loves, all right? Let me go ahead and say my pre-prayer here, and then we'll go ahead and get started with your reading today. Guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light, thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. Guardian angels and ancestors, I ask that you protect my space and aura, most of all my heart, as I channel the messages here today for the Aquarius placements, for the air elements. What messages do we have for Aquarius placements? I do want to say, my loves, your Pandora song. Yes, your Pandora song for today, Aquarius, was Bedrock, okay, featuring Floyd. Is it Floyd or Lloyd? Yes, I believe it's Lloyd, okay? Floyd may be significant. There may be someone's name, all right? But however, I wanted to say Lloyd, but I said Floyd, okay? Someone's name could be Floyd or Floyd, okay? However... The name of the song today, your Pandora song today, Aquarius, is Bedrock by Young Money featuring Lloyd, okay? So, wow. Ooh, someone wants to make the Bedrock, honey, or you're making the Bedrock, Aquarians. I don't know. I wasn't the fly on the wall here, honey, and yet. All right, but that song is very significant. Go check out the lyrics, Okay. And see what messages you get there. All right. So let's go ahead and start with the Love Romance Angel cards here, honey. Let's see what's going on in your love life. Guardian Angels, Ancestors, what do we have for Aquarius placements when it comes to love? What's going on in their love life? What do they need to be made aware of here? Oh, thank you. Ooh, separation right off the back, Aquarius. Is everything all right? Okay. We have time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Hmm. All right. So this is a situation for whoever I'm picking up here. Okay. This is a timeline here where you and your partner is going to be separating from each other. You may are having differences when it comes to your partner here, your spouse for some of you all here, and you're not in alignment or in agreement with this particular person. Okay, so let's see what else here regarding angels, ancestors, in regards to this separation here. What else? What else is going on in Aquarian's love life here? Definitely stick around. I'm going to pull a couple more decks to get further clarifications for you as well, Aquarius. Okay, no worries. No worries. Thank you. We have make the effort. Create love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take here, Aquarius. Okay, so... This is a particular energy here where some of you all are in a, literally in the process of a separation here. You could be divorcing your spouse here, your significant other here, okay? Are you just planning on removing yourself from a relationship that you have been in some quite some time now, okay? And others of you all are, you know, being tempted to make an effort in regards to this new connection here or new relationship here that you're going into, Okay? Wow. All right. We got two different 
situations going on here at the same time, honey. Okay. Some of y'all are literally involving involved in both. Okay. And others of you all, this is just two different timelines here. Okay. So there is a timeline here where you are uh, separating yourself and others of you all are, you know, making the effort to meet someone new and the others of you all are doing both at the same time. You are in the process of separation between your significant other here and you have met someone new at the same time here, okay? So just take it where it resonates there, all right? Wow, we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally here, okay? So in regards to this situation here where you're separating yourselves from your particular partner here or spouse here or ex here, right? There's a situation here where your guardian angels want you to allow everything to unfold naturally, meaning do not try to step in between this situation here, okay? 555 five, five on the clock, literally. So there's definitely going to be a change here for you guys here, okay? We know 5 represents change, okay? We know 555 five, five represents unexpected change here, okay? This could be definitely a positive change for you guys, okay? This could be an unexpected change where, you know, this is what's going to assist you and give you the extra push, I feel, as well, or give you this information or details that you're needing to know here in regards to a particular situation here, okay, that you need to make sure, Aquarius, to let go of. Do not try to control this situation here, okay? You see how they're both looking at each other and they're very skeptical about this situation here, okay? Some of y'all, this could be the mother of your child or the father of your child here, Okay, there could be a child involved here, particularly a daughter here. Okay, however here, my loves, do not allow yourself to try to control this situation because I feel like something is needed to be said here or something has need to take place here. Okay, but it needs to happen naturally here. Okay, so don't try to put your, you know, your foot in the way or down here. Just allow everything to go naturally with the flow here. All right, what else we have here? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? So definitely in regards to your parents here, some of y'all that have grew up with your parents and you may haven't, of course, agreed to some things that they may have done or how they raised you, okay? Your guardian angels and your ancestors want you to find forgiveness in your heart, okay, for this situation here. So this doesn't block you when it comes to your love life here. Or trying to tap into their love frequency vibration, honey. Okay, we got to make sure to forgive, okay? I'm not asking you to, you know, do whatever it is that you're trying to do here. But I do encourage you for forgiveness here, okay? All right? So let's move forward here. Let's see what else comes out. We have this could be the one, all right? You have already met the romantic partner that you seek here, Aquarius. Ooh, all right, so yeah, this particular person here, I'm not sure where you met this person at, okay? This could have been someone that you met up out the blue here, okay? As you were in the process of filing a divorce or separating from your spouse or separating from your significant other here, and this person came along, you could have met this person at work. You could have met this person while you were out doing your daily routine, okay? You could have met this person at some type of social event here. Okay, or even online here for some of you all here, okay? But this person definitely could be the one here for you, okay? And this is why your guardian angels and your ancestors want you to find forgiveness in your heart, okay? Understand that our parents did not get a handbook here, okay? All right? And don't allow this situation or whatever they may have done to you. I understand. I get it, okay? But don't allow that to, you know, hinder you or slow you down from opportunities when it comes to love here in the future for you, okay? So find forgiveness in your heart, my loves. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yes, my love. So in regards to your religious beliefs here or your own spiritual beliefs here, this is going to be very impacted here with you and your partner here, okay? Or this new person that you meet here. It's going to be very important, I feel like, for both of you all here, okay? You two may have different spiritual beliefs or different spiritual background cultures, things of that sort, but I feel like your spiritual path and your spiritual journey is going to be very important for each other here, okay? All right, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have 
heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings, Aquarius, with each other. So there is definitely a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's needed to be had here. Like I mentioned here at the beginning of your reading, there is something that needs to be said here. But you're going to have to wait for that perfect timing for it, which is you will know when that timing will occur here. Because there is a situation where you two are needing to communicate. You may have been communicating with this person here in quite some time here, Aquarius, okay? And you're needing to communicate with this person now, okay? There is something that needs to be said here or expressed here. I feel like there was something that may have been kept in for so long, but things were going on behind closed doors that you, Aquarius, or your partner wasn't aware of here. And it has built up a situation here where it may have caused, you know, bad choices to be made here. That's why your guardian angels is stating that you need to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. This is at the bottom of the deck. This is what you don't see coming here, okay? Because there is a separation for some of you all who's resonating here with this portion of the reading that has took place here or is going to take place here. So you guys are going to need to communicate with each other here, okay? And others of you all, you have met this person that you are just now getting confirmation that this person could be the one. You may be skeptical about this particular person here because, you know, you've been through a relationship here that, you know, obviously that you have to separate yourself from that wasn't for your highest good here. So, you you know, you're kind of skeptical here. It could have been a while since, you know, you just got back into a relationship or a dating at that, you know, even through that part of it, right? We have you speak to me through music, all right? So this particular person that you're communicating with here, okay? I feel like you speak to this person through music here. We have I replay our conversations over and over. Wow, so this particular energy here plays your conversations over and over what you have said to this person here. Okay, Rev, this is the person that you have dealt with in your past, your ex here, your ex-spouse, your significant other here, okay, or this new energy here. Wow, we have you came closer than anyone, okay? So this person feels like you have come closer than anyone in their life here, okay? Wow, Aquarius, what's at the bottom of the deck? We both know I am not the one for you, okay? So this is how this particular person or this person that you will be separating here from in the future here, honey, this is how this particular person feels, okay? So they know that they have done some things that they're not even happy with or agreeable with here, and they know that it has affected the relationship, the marriage, the partnership here, the family for some of you all here. And this is what this person is now coming to terms with and realizing is why I'm sure they played the conversation over and over in their heads here, okay? And others of you all, you are telepathically communicating with this person here that you have met here, this new energy here, and they feel as much as you feel that, wow, you're the only one that came this close to me ever, or, you know, where I'm able to speak or communicate through music with here. Wow, beautiful. All right, we have definitely two different timelines going on here, honey. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out the, hmm, yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and pull out the tarot deck here and see what's going on here in tarot land, okay? Let's see what's going on here beneath the surface here in regards to this connection, Garden Angels. And definitely if the reading is resonating with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up, show spirit some love. Definitely, again, if you're new here, subscribe, my love. So welcome, welcome. Be a part of family. This is where we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform. Wow, I didn't even get the shuffle yet, Aquarians. What is this? Oh, wow. We have the two of ones here. Fire energy here. Some of you on this person may be a fire sign here. We have Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo energy here. But this card talks about making a wise decision here, honey, okay? Making a decision here that's going to be for your highest good here, yeah. So there's definitely, again, going to be a decision here that you're going to have to make in regards to having this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honey. Meaning that some of y'all literally may be in a relationship or a partnership here that you're not happy with, Aquarius, okay? And your higher self is requesting for you to make a decision here, okay? Because you're somewhere for whoever I'm speaking with, not all of you, okay? Some of y'all have already removed yourself from this particular person and their energy here from your past here. And you've already met this particular person here, right? 
Everyone is on different timelines. So just take yourself where it's resonating for you or where you're currently at. Okay. But there is definitely a decision here that you're going to have to make here pretty soon. Okay. In regards to what it is that you want. The ones represent your passion here. You're going to have to make a decision to go towards your passion here. Yes, here you are, honey, the king of swords. Here's your energy, okay? Rather, I'm speaking with a masculine or a feminine energy here, okay? This is air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy here. But this, uh, excuse me, this card also talks about standing in your truth, standing in your power, speaking your truth. Not afraid to speak up, okay? Because there's going to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's going to have to be had here, okay? You're going to have to tell this person how you feel, and you're going to have to put your foot down and not let this person walk over you either. You're going to have to set some boundaries here, Aquarius, okay? Wow, what else for the angels and ancestors of Aquarius placements need to know? What else? What else do we have for Aquarius placements when it comes to the connection here? What else? Thank you. Yep. I can't make this shit up. We have the Ace of Swords here. Your energy. All right. When this card comes out, this says, yes, this is just source agreeing to everything that I've just sat here and said today in your reading here. Everything that I've said, this is the truth. Okay, so this is resonating for who it needs to resonate for. But guardian angels and ancestors, you're going to you're gonna be faced with having to speak your truth when it comes to this relationship or this connection or this ex-spouse or your ex-partner here. Okay, because there's a separation that's coming here. Okay, it may not be as, you know, as the closer that you, you know, had in mind. Okay, but it's going to need to be had here with the Ace of Swords. So you're about to get some clarity and you're about to get some truth about this particular person and things that they may have done towards you. This person could have betrayed you, done some things here behind your back. And because that, I mean, I would thank them because if anything, they're pushing you towards your passion. Now you're being forced to go towards your passion now because of this person decisions here that they have made or the things that they have done towards you in this relationship. Okay. And it has pushed you exactly in the path. That you're needing to go here, okay? It may not feel that way right now, but in the future, on down the line, you'll be glad that you did here. Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Tower card here, Scorpio energy here, okay? Some of y'all, this person may be a Scorpio here, okay? Or they could be a fellow air sign like yourself here. Again, we have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here, and we also have Fire sign here, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. But however here, honey, there is definitely a Tower moment on the way, so whenever this heart-to-heart -heart conversation comes about here, there's going to be a tower moment here, okay? That's why I seen 555 on the clock here. This card also represents the number 5 here, okay? Some of you all definitely might be seeing the number 5 a lot here, or you will be, okay? Which is just spirit trying to give you heads up in regards to this tower card here, okay? There is a situation here where the divine honey is about to step in, okay? Because there is a situation here that they're no longer going to allow to keep happening here. So there's a situation, maybe this may be your person doing a particular routine here over and over again. Or you, Aquarius, may be doing something that you don't have no business doing. I don't know. I wasn't the fly on the wall. But the divine, the universe is not in agreeable of it. And the tower card is about to come down, honey. Okay, meaning that this is some type of natural disaster. Okay, it's going to be something that you nor the person that you are involved with or anyone else around you can say they had anything to do with. This is literally going to be a situation where it's going to have to just be dealt with when it happens because of this situation here. Whatever this situation has led up to for so long, now the universe is going to tear it down so that way it could be rebuilt. Okay. Or restore because whatever's going on right now is not for your highest good. It's not for the partnership highest good. It's not for the relationship highest good here. Okay. And others of you all have already experienced this tower card here. Okay. Or this tower moment. Some of you all haven't experienced it yet. And some of you all will be experiencing this tower card here. Okay. Wow. So let's finish up here. I want to see how this particular energy feels. In regards to this person that could be the one for you. All right, let's jump into that energy before we close out your reading here today. 
Guardian Angels, how did this particular energy feel that could be the one for Aquarius placements for the ones that move forward in on the timeline here? I feel like that'll be fair since we got energies in regards to your person from the past here. I want to definitely make sure not to leave out this new energy here that's coming in for you guys. For the ones that haven't met this person yet and for others of you, like I say, you've already met this particular person here. Let's see how they feel. Thank you. Wow, we have please call in. I miss you all. Oh, Aquarius, this particular person misses you right now. Okay, they want you to call in. Okay, they want to come over and spend some time with you. I'm getting here. Okay, and what else we have here? When are you coming back? Uh, there is definitely a particular person here that I feel like you may haven't had the opportunity to get to know or just give your time and effort here is why Spirit is saying make the effort here. Okay, I feel due to maybe because of the situation where you're having to separate from this particular person here or do what it is you need to do to take care of your business here. You kind of left this person waiting here on the other side here or, you know, you kind of just haven't been able to communicate or, you know, be in this particular person's energy here because of you or in the process of you know separating from this person from your past here okay but this person definitely misses you they want to see you they want to know when you're coming back here okay guardian angels what else what else oh thank you oh uh, we have you are my queen okay oh uh, so sweet so there is a masculine energy here aquarius that sees you as their queen Okay, they see you as the divine feminine, all right, and they miss you, okay? So that's definitely significant for someone. Some A masculine energy here is missing their queen, and they, call, they may call you their queen, okay? That may be significant as well. One more card here, Guardian Angels. Thank you. We have give me another chance, please. Oh, uh, this person wants you to give them another chance here, okay? Like I said, this could be the ex here, okay? This could be the ex-spouse here as well here, honey. But there is definitely someone wants to give you um, or asking for you to give them another chance here, okay? And that's why we have that two of ones. You're going to have to make a decision here, okay? There's definitely going to have to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation to be had here. But again, I feel like this is not for your highest good as far as this person from your past. is why, again, this tower card is here. It's going to resonate differently for everyone with that tower card, okay? Wow, powerful reading here. Again, definitely if the reading has resonated with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. All right, I'm going to close out your spread here and get you some spiritual advice from your guardian angels and your ancestors here. Source angels, ancestors of the highest light. What word of advice can Aquarius placements take away from the spread today? What word of advice can Aquarius placements take away from the spread? What word of advice for the angels? Thank you. All right, we have emotions are running high, my love. Super moon here. Okay, so yes, definitely a situation here. Where it's going to build up here, okay? These emotions are going to be running high. The situation here is going to be running its course here, honey. There's definitely a situation here that I feel like also by this tarot card here, I feel like it's going to free you up or it's going to free the situation up to have you be able to have the green light in some type of way. Because, wow, at the bottom of that, we have is the justice card here, okay? So definitely this was a situation here. Aquarius where you were where you received no justice okay this is a Libra energy as well some of y'all this person could be a Libra here but there was unrequited love here okay this person may have portrayed you done something behind your back here okay and this is why this tarot moment is about to happen here and like I said it's going to allow you justice here it's going to give you justice for how you were treated here you may were treated unfair when it comes to this relationship here is why you're requesting to separate yourself from it, okay? And whatever this is and how it frees you up here, it's going to be a brand new beginning of passion here on the way. You guys are not even expecting this, okay? So definitely do not give up when it comes to your love life. 
This could be a fire sign here that you're meeting here in the future. Again, here it could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries here. But this is definitely a situation that's going to, once this tower moment occurs here, because the momentum, the momentum is running too high here. The emotions is running too high here. Whatever this tower moment that's coming in the future is definitely going to free you up. It's definitely going to serve you justice here. And I believe we got this card last time or your your thumbnail mentioned about justice coming into play here. So this is that same energy here. So this is definitely going to be happening here very, very, very soon for you, Aquarius here. Wow. I want to say congratulations because whatever it is, it's going to bring you justice. It's going to serve you justice here. You're going to get your justice for how you were treated unfair here. So don't worry about that. Your guardian angels and your ancestors are protecting you at this time right now, Aquarius. You keep doing what you're doing, okay? And you keep healing. You keep doing the work. And again, keep putting your foot down and setting healthy boundaries for yourself here, okay? Wow, Aquarius. Beautiful reading here. Again, I hope the reading has resonated for who it needed to resonate for. If so, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Again, if you have enjoyed the energies, don't forget to click that join link down below. All right. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions when I go live, my loves. I am not available for personal readings. However, I will be back available for personal readings starting July the 1st, which actually is this Friday coming up. All right. However, the prices have increased. Okay, so Duffy, I would encourage you to click that join link down below so that way you can continue to receive the discounted price as well as the uh, standard price because the prices will be going up and you'll get a discount on top of that when you are a part of the Soul Tribe, my loves, okay? Again, thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. Thank you, Soul Tribe. I appreciate you. I love you guys so much. You stay healthy and you stay wealthy. I love you. Mwah. Bye-bye.